this is Fairland River bringing to you some more color tips. Today we're going to talk about fetish types and how to perform those. Hello, this is Fairland River bringing to you some more color tips. Today we're going to talk about fetish types and how to perform those for clients who request them. There are some fetishes that are not well known. It's not just all feet. Um, but there seems to be quite a few people out there willing to pay for customized content with um, spit fetish tongue fetish, and several different types of BDSM type sessions, like blackmail fetish. A lot of people don't know how to do that. So let's start with the blackmail fetish. With blackmail fetish, the purpose of it is the rush the adrenaline rush that someone gets from the possibility of exposure. A lot of people need a little something extra for them to get off, and adrenaline is a big component for a lot of people, especially submissives. Now, if someone is serious about blackmail, they will probably come to you looking for some other kind of session, whether that be CBT or sissification or training of some sort. And if they like your attitude, the way you interact, and your style, and they want to prolong that experience, they may ask if you do blackmail fetish. Usually, you already have material to start doing blackmail fetish just from your previous introductory session with that client. Um, the tasks that you have them record or the pictures you have them take to prove that he's performing the task that you give him gives you ammunition to use against him in the real world should you choose to. So whether or not I ask so whether or not I know for sure that my clients are going to do blackmail fetish, if they ask me to delete the pictures afterwards, I won't actually delete them. I'll leave them in my kick feed um, because that can come in handy in the future. If they're a reoccurring client and I know that they like exposure, I will make a file for them in my Dropbox that only I can access and keep all their videos and pictures that they send me that can be considered embarrassing or incriminating or whatever. And that way when they're like, oh, blah, 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 I'm going to end my services and it's like, oh, no, we have this contract. And I own you until so you've you've paid it off and remind him what I have on him. <laughs> um, you want to make sure you have a contract that it's basically a debt contract. You guys both set the amount of money based on his income and ability to pay and a time period in which you can pay that off. And usually you can set a certain amount to keep you at bay. But if you want to or if you need it, you can ask or demand rather and pay more than what is actually assigned for that week, which helps him to pay off the debt quicker if he's able to do it.
So that's blackmail fetish. And that's how you do it. CBT, for those of you who don't know, is cock and ball torture. You can do that in a number of ways. Some of them like ball busting, which is, you know, slapping, slamming, kicking, hitting in the balls. So you can give them assignments like that. Um, Other people like restriction play. So sometimes you have them tie it up. Or you can have them play with clothes pit clips and have them do that and try to knock the clothes things up. There's, there's your imagination is the only thing that limits you. Spit fetish has several different aspects to it, like foot fetish. There's like so many different variations on the foot fetish with preference and stuff. So spit fetish, it could be the drooling. It could be the actual, like, boogie thickness, like, because it resembles semen. (laughs) It could be just, like, the sloppiness and the suggestion of inebriation or, uh, yeah. They might want you to drink it. They might want you to pour it on yourself. They might want to tell, want you to tell them to drink it. It can go all over the board. Same with tongues. A lot of people like the tricks, but they also like to see it wide and see your uvula. <laughs> I guess it's like a target for them when they're doing their thing. Um Let's see what else is there. There's this new thing where they're imitating silly animes where you basically make ridiculous faces that you would see in anime, which usually involves sticking out your tongue and crossing your eyes, you know, like, and making funny noises. <laughs> uh A lot of the fetishes these days have roots in popular culture in anime. So if you do a lot of domination work, you might want to watch some hentai for research. Um, Also gives you a good background for material, like inspiration and stuff for different types of humiliation and degradation because that whole culture is very big on that the whole uh, ranking system. And Shibari's pretty. <laughs>